Hi everyone. This question right here says, in each of the following, determine the value of the unknown. Now I'm going to do all three of these at once. So if you wanted to, to move to another question here, you can just kind of fast forward to the video. So the first one here, we're told that the slope of the line segment joining these two is three. Okay. So that means three over one, okay, rise over run, there's my slope, rise over run, is going to equal b minus six, the difference in the y coordinates, over five minus four, the difference in the x coordinates. Now, so this is three over one is b minus six over, well, five minus four is one. Well, which is interesting because notice the denominators are identical. If these two fractions are the same, and the denominators are the same, that means the numerators must be the same. And then to solve for b, just bring the 6 over, okay, add it to both sides, and I get 9 is equal to b. There's the unknown. Well, we do the exact same thing for question b. Okay, this time we know that our slope is negative 1 half. And in this case, it's probably going to help us out to put the negative either in the numerator or the denominator. Now, right now, I'm assuming the numerator. We'll, we'll see in a second whether that was the best choice. So I will say negative 7 minus negative 2 all over 3 minus c. Difference in the y coordinates, difference in the x coordinates. I'll simplify that a little bit. Negative 7 minus negative 2 is negative 5. Now please pay very careful attention to the negatives. I am subtracting a negative. Okay, so negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5 over 3 minus c. Now in this case right here, notice that to go from negative 1 to negative 5, I just multiplied by 5. Okay, so to compare these two numerators, uh, this one is just 5 times larger. So that means this denominator is five times larger than two, which means this denominator here, three minus c, must be equivalent to 10. So bring the three over by subtracting three from both sides, and you'll get seven, and then bring over the negative, and you'll get c is equal to negative seven. Now, if you don't like that method, once you're here, another thing you could do is cross multiply. Now, I know not everybody likes to hear those words, cross multiply, but It'll be negative 1 times 3 minus c, so negative 1 times 3 minus c. Because this is a, a proportion here, has to be equal to the product of this denominator and this numerator. So that would have to be equal to 2 times negative 5. So this becomes negative 3 plus c is equal to negative 10. And then add the 3 to both sides, c equals negative 7. Either, either way, you get the same result. And finally, this one. Once again, we know the slope is 2 sevenths. That's going to be the difference of the uh, y coordinates. So now I can see right now I've got 2 over 7 here. And I know right now when I look at the y coordinates, the 5 and the 3, they differ by 2. But I can get a positive if I make this 5 minus 3. I'm going to change the order here. I'm going to let this one be our, the one that we refer to first. And it can do that. You can put those in whatever order as long as you're consistent. So because I let the 5 go first in this one, I have to let the 2 go first in the denominator. So 2 minus f. So this is 2 over 7 is equal to 2 over 2 minus f. The two fractions are the same. The numerators are the same. So the denominators must be the same. Subtract 2 from both sides and I get 5 is equal to negative f and then divide it through the negative, so negative 5 is equal to f. And those are the answers we're looking for.